Hey, welcome back, firearms friends. Here's some things coming up on day four in our uh, sporting and collector auctions, February 14th through 17th. So tomorrow's the last day and you can get your eyes and hands on things like this. This J.P. Sauer and Son, I believe this is model 1913, you know, and Sig Sauer's becoming more popular, of course, recently with the military contracts and things. So the interest in Sauer and early Sauer's uh, has, has risen substantially. Of course, you can see right there, this is chambered in 7.65 AK-32. The best part about it is this is a World War II bring back. This was brought back by a sergeant in July 1946 and has some papers to show it. I love a bring back gun. This is definitely my favorite gun in this case. Boy, you might not recognize it looking like this, but it's one of the guns on one of the most popular shows on TV uh, from The Mandalorian. We have a Bergman. Uh, now, he, we have a model 1896 number three. I believe in the show he's carrying a number one. Uh, you're, but you're talking some of the very, very earliest semi-automatic pistols. Just a fascinating, again, if you're into early semi-automatic design or firearms design of any era, uh, a Bergman is, is a fascinating addition to your collection. Easy choice, favorite in this case, hands down. Next case, there's a ton of great looking Colts behind me, 1903s, 1908s. Uh, target single shots, you name it. But the one that jumped out was the work on this high standard. This is a model HD military. In fact, you can, there's no no uh, mystery about that with that beautiful, beautiful gold inlay. Not only on our slide, not only on our frame, but even up here on our barrel. And I should mention too, we got a beautiful matte finish and geometric pattern on the top here to reduce glare. And just how fine that is, is boggling. Uh, you can see our got some beautiful target sights as one would expect on a high standard of this quality. And the other side is just as beautiful with that engraving and that is some pretty flawless gold wire inlay we might add. Boy it's one of those that jumps out you at a mile away. A high standard favorite in this case. I can already see that my favorite in the next one as well. All right, so I spotted it from the next case over, and I swear I didn't know at the time, this is another James Meat gun in the Sporting Collector auction. Um, so you know the engraving is top notch. Uh, I like it because the engraving, and you don't see many revolvers with a panel seat engraved on it. That, that takes some pretty special work. You're, you're dealing with a very small canvas here, but look at the detail on that eagle and his background and the scroll work that happens, even all around the cylinder, all the way down to the muzzle even on our rib, of course, we didn't, didn't engrave the matte top, and that's okay. I mean, a matte top's a matte top. It's, it's gonna look good, but look at the case hardening that's still here on this hammer, on this trigger. Boy, the work's just incredible, and I love a 19.3. Um, it's one of my favorite guns to shoot, and here we have actually a down right underneath the cylinder engraved by James Meek. That is how we knew uh, once we picked it up that that is a Meek gun. But there's nothing Meek about it, Definitely my favorite gun in this case. Let's check out the next one. If you like a good revolver, Freedom Arms are a no-brainer, and they were in this case. There's actually a trio of Freedom Arms in here. We have 41, 44 mag, uh, beautiful, heavy revolvers, but they're not the biggest or the heaviest. This Freedom Arms 757 Premier Grade is, as you can see right here, they're Grand African. This is chambered in 475 line ball. Um, Look at the bore. Just look at the bore on this thing. Um, Grand African indeed. If you were going to be going to that continent for a handgun hunt, you'd definitely want something chambered in 475 line ball to go with you. Oh, and that is still, that still feels just fine. Freedom Arms, a little bit of a wrist breaker. That's my choice for this cabinet. Last but not least, let's end on a classic. We got a beautiful Colt Python, looks like about a six inch. And of course, it's in 357 Magnum. And this, someone enjoyed shooting this one. With the smooth on the back of the grips here, I tell you what, you could be the next person to enjoy shooting it. And it's coming up tomorrow. So uh, that's our last day of the Sporting Collector Farms Auction. It's the last and fourth day, but there's still time to place your bids at rockislandauction.com. Uh, you can head over there, place your bids, and search all the remaining listings. And uh, the next video you'll see will probably be for our premiere auction in May. So until then, firearms friends, keep your powder dry.